On January 16, 2024, the Chinese Embassy in the U.S. marked the 45th anniversary of Sino-U.S. diplomatic relations with a reception. Ambassador Xi Feng delivered a speech highlighting three historical experiences in the development of bilateral relations. The event also served as a 2024 New Year reception, reinforcing the long-standing ties between China and the United States. We have to cooperate. There's, you know, it, cynically, China's not going away. And America's not going away. So the only, the only future is cooperation. The Chinese people are very easy to talk to. And Americans are too. It's just, it's just putting them all together in the right situation so they can speak and cooperate. And you know, the Chinese people want to cooperate with Americans. And when Americans find out that the Chinese people are interested in it, Americans want to cooperate. Highlighting the importance of public involvement in shaping future relations, the discussion touched upon the San Francisco vision and recognize the opportunities and challenges. The 45-year journey of China-U.S. relations was reflected upon, recognizing both challenges and benefits. Addressing Taiwan, the affirmation of China's unity and international consensus on the One China Principle was underscored. I'm here tonight, uh, just wanted to contribute to the celebration of the United States and uh, well, primarily D.C. and China. And I'm here on behalf of the Destination D.C. to just um, partnership and meet people and express my love and appreciation for the China nation. The commemoration of the 45th anniversary of China-U.S. diplomatic relations, as articulated by Ambassador Xi Feng, emphasizes the historical journeys, challenges, and benefits of China and the U.S. Urging public involvement in shaping the future, the San Francisco vision stands as a guiding principle. As both nations navigate opportunities and challenges, the commitment to stable, healthy, and sustainable relations remains pivotal in fostering global cooperation. First, for China and the United States, turning our back on each other is not an option. Dialogue and a willing cooperation should be our common 